Let's go to Denerim. And let's take... Oh, actually, I was going to take Stem, but then this is still... This is still the Arl one, so actually it's probably better to have Alistair with us for this. Yes. Uh, and then let's take... Well, we have to take Win. Yes. Uh, hmm. I'd like to try out Shale, but... I just, I really love Morrigan and Leliana. I wish I could have them all. <laughs> oh, it's the same problem I had in Mass Effect. It's like, I really love, like, Garrus and Tali and Liara and, like, do I ever really want to take anyone other than those three who I love so much? <laughs> was the problem that I kept running into. And I feel like I'm going to have that exact problem here where I have some favourites, but then, like, I do want to hear what other people have to say, but then that means I'm missing out on hearing more of what my favourites have to say, so... Uh... There's probably going to be a lot of locks that need picking, right? So, indeed. Let's go, Leliana. And then I need to activate. Wait, what was this again? Bonus to defense while that's active. I don't usually need that. Oh right, I was only getting that because I had to get it to get to the next one. Give everyone flamey stuff, and then. Uh... To Denerim. We are literally travelling across the fucking world here. <laughs> That's a long way. Are we going to get attacked on the road? Yep. I wonder if it's... Is it guaranteed that you get attacked every single time you travel somewhere? Oh, wait, no. We're getting a cutscene. In Denerim. Right. That's where we're going. Oh, Sorry. right. Loghain's here. I have more news. Are we going to get attacked in Denerim then, just um, because he knows yes. we're there? If he knows. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Oh, Only you're so dumb. Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no... We may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn suit. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Will not roll out the welcome for them now! We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own! I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. She doesn't believe him. Smart woman. Oh, we're not being attacked. It's a, it's a merchant thing? Yoink. Old Tegrin. You have coins, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, Old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. Uh, what's going on in Ozuma? There's two things I'm here for. Travel or trade. Understand? Alright, fuck you then. Fuck you, buddy. Uh, alright, oh, we never sold all this shit last time, did we? Uh, well, no time like the present. Fuck off axe, fuck off axe, fuck off crow dagger. We'll keep that, because that's like really good. Yep. Uh, goodbye. We're keeping this. Uh, that's nothingy, nothingy, nothingy. Is that? That's not better than what Leliana's got, is it? Uh, no. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We keep all the bolts. Uh, what's this compared to Alistair's shield? Worst defense. Sell. Oh, Eamon's shield. Would that be better? No, it's actually worse. Well, actually, eh. It's the same defense, but with more fatigue. Same defense and missile deflec deflection and strength modifier, but with more fatigue. So that made me go, oh, it's worse. But it then also has plus six defense, so it's actually got ten defense. It doesn't have a chance to avoid missile attacks, but it does have 25 more stamina. We should probably give this to him, I think. 
Uh, Red Cliff Shield, how does that hold up? Not as well. Well, it's got better missile deflection, but not the other stuff. Let's get rid of that. That will be worse. Uh, and then these are for Shale, but she's got better stuff, I think, so we can just get rid of the small, flawed, and chipped ones, right? Uh, okay, so then we back out. We swap Alistair's shield to that one. Very nice. You have coin? Fine weapon and arms. Dwarven men. Then we sell the other shield. Goodbye. Okay, inventory's already looking a little better. I think we can get rid of basically everything here. We just checked everyone's shit, didn't we? I guess we'll keep Doggo stuff. Templar armor is very good. Hmm. Should we give it to him? It's just that it messes up his set bonus. When equipped in a set with heavy chainmail, gloves, and boots, the character's spells or talents cost less. How much do we care about that? We'd be gaining eight more fatigue. Like, a quarter of his bar would be... Wait, no, is that how fatigue works? No, fatigue means they cost 25% more, right? It's not that the bar's taken up, I think. Uh, but he gains 2.6 more armor, plus 3 willpower... Plus 20% spell resist, which is pretty big, and plus 5 mental resist. Hmm. That can go... I think all of the rest of this stuff can go, basically. That is, like, pretty huge. I'm going to keep that one. Okay. Keep the rest of that. Uh, restriction mage. It's pretty good. I guess I'll keep those. Soul Rot Bomb, go away. Keep that, keep that. Uh, Mabari Crunch. Don't need that. Uh, fuck all of this stuff. Painting of the Rebel Queen portrays a battle between Orle and Ferelden. The Rebel Queen with fiery red hair has climbed atop a ruined chariot and is holding aloft her battle standard. Thank you. Silver Sword of Mercy, an ornate silver amulet in the shape of a sword. Blue satin shoes. Powder blue satin shoes with long ribbons that circle the ankle. Gold lace trim and dangling gold charms shaped like puppies and the finishing touches. Shaped like puppies? Is that... I don't know. Leliana? Grab those. Uh, keep all the gifts, obviously. Goodbye, Garnet. Goodbye, Greenstone. Goodbye, Silver Chalice. Private Document. Blank Vellum. We're keeping the Drake Scale. Uh, Alright. That means we're down to 58 out of 120. So we've got... <laughs> after selling all that, we still have half our inventory full. Which is pretty nuts. But I guess that'll do for now. Uh, Leliana, let's give you some arrows so that we're just get using up some stuff in the inventory. Uh, sure, 99 ice arrows will keep you going for a while. 
cool. Okay, I think we're good here, right? Off we go. Onwards. So, yeah, I, is Loghain going to know that we're in the fucking joint that he's at? Denerim Market District. I already see multiple quests. Oh, boy. Oh, we are going to load ourselves up on side quests here, aren't we? wonder how big this area is to explore. So, you know about him and Morrigan, right? You've heard? Oh, that's cool. I think I know what you are talking about, yes. And you agree with it? You don't think that it's dangerous? Dangerous for whom? Her or him? Anyone. She's Malefica and rotten to the core. How could he even... Ah, oh, this can't be a good idea. She can't be a good influence on him. I will admit that the thought did cross my mind several times. Damn, guys, I'm stood but right here. Look at it another way. Perhaps he will be a good influence on her. You know, you are just too understanding about stuff like this. Can't you be more judgmental? <laughs> I'm trying to rant here. Oh, I'm sorry. You go ahead and rant, dear. And I'll just nod my head if you like. Cool. I mean, I'm sad that he's obviously not about it. I mean, it makes sense that he's not going to be about it. But the actual big win here is that they fucking reference it. Which they never did in Mass Effect. The entire time. No one had a fucking clue that me and Liara were a thing. No one had the first idea. But uh, they actually chat about it. If you get into a relationship with someone. Which is very impressive. I'm a big fan of that. Big fan of that. Why is that one barrel so fucking bright compared to the others? Hello. Good day. Good day. More like goodbye. Uh oh, it's another board. Magic oh god, it's another board. To serve man and never to rule over him. Foul and corrupt are they who have corrupt. taken his gift and turned it against corrupt. his children. They shall be named Malefica, a cursed one. All right, I think we've actually read that. I feel like I've heard exactly what they're saying. Oh boy, Chanta Rosamund. Those stung with a hundred arrows, those suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong, and he moved on. Oh, I guess we just handed something in. We just got five fucking gold for that. <laughs> what did? Which one did we just hand in? Oh, you know what? I don't care. It's just going to be some random thing. The deep dark before dawn's first light seems eternal. But know that the sun always rises. I sure do, bud. Oh boy, here we go. Back alley justice. Eliminate the criminals preying on innocent folk in Denerim's back alleys. In these dark times, we must work together against the common threat. Sergeant Kylon has bought, brought disturbing news that should anger all righteous people. In our own alleyways, footpads, muggers, and miscreants lie in wait to profit from the chaos of our times. They infect us like a plague. A reward is available for any information on these lowlifes. Sergeant Kylon has also offered a heavy purse for any brave souls that can best these brigands and make Denerim a safe place once again. This humble chanter has added to the reward as well. May the Maker bless all who heed the call. Missing in action. Find Rexel. Recently our hearts were lifted when many survivors of the Battle of Ostagar returned to us. Maker bless these men and women and have mercy on those who fell defending our children from the Blight. Sadly, one of these heroes has gone missing. Rexel served in Tern Loghain's vanguard with distinction. Upon his return, his wife said he was prone to quiet reflection and frequented the local taverns. One afternoon, he left his home and never returned. This chanter was moved by the family's grief and is offering a pouch of coin for anyone who finds this hero. The chant says, In saving one man, you save us all. For if each of us lends a hand to aid his neighbour, anything is possible, especially now. Fazil's Request Find Fazil's Sextant Master Fazil of the esteemed Guild of Free Sailors has informed this chanter that while about guild business, he, is, he was waylaid by bandits via guile and other chicanery. He lost many valuables, but in particular, an antique sextant was removed forcibly from his person. This sextant is of considerable symbolic value, as it belonged to the first guildmaster of the Free Sailors. Master Fazil described his assailants as masked of foreign descent, perhaps to Vinter or Free Marches, and unusually coordinated and crafty. He's placed a hefty sum of coin with this chanter for the return of his sextant. That is all. Loghain's Push Brothers and sisters, word has arrived of an imminent conflict. Ten Loghain's honoured forces continue to root out threats to our nation, and their actions deserve support from the common people. 
While it is unusual to post troop movements to the public board, I believe it's necessary for brethren near the affected area to respect the honoured Tern by aiding his troops. Provide whatever comfort you feel they deserve, and Ferelden will be the stronger for it. Treat these brave soldiers as you would treat Loghain himself. So, kick him in the nuts, and the spiritual rewards will be generous. Cool, we can kick him in the nuts. Lovely stuff. Hello, is this where Loghain's at? In the name of Andraste, Bride of the Maker, be welcome in this house. While the cathedral is closed, if you need to make wedding or funeral arrangements, you'll have to talk to Sister Oma. Did someone die? I remember a funeral. King Kaelin died, remember? Along with most of the army at Ostagar? Maker guide them all. Why is the cathedral closed? That which you fear. Living in the shadow of death alone, I have seen it is only a cloud passing before the sun. The death toll at Ostagar was staggering. We've had a funeral every day for a lost son or daughter of Denerim, and we've many more yet to hold. What's wrong with your friend? Are they singing the chant now? It's a funeral, isn't it? He should have retired to Valroyo years ago. But he wanted to stay and serve the remainder of his days in his homeland. It's the Lyrium that does this. I don't think he's serving anyone like this, though. Lyrium did this to him? Why doesn't he stop taking it? They can't, right? He wouldn't be a Templar anymore. Blessed are they who stand before the corrupt and the wicked and do not falter. He doesn't forget who he is, even if he can't remember anything else. All right, I'll be back later. May the light of the Maker guide your steps. New Codex, Templars. Really? We've never had a Codex about Templars before? God damn it. It does not like opening on the correct thing sometimes, no matter what you do. Um, magic and Religion, Templars. Often portrayed as stoic and grim, the Order of Templars was created as the martial arm of the Chantry. Armed with the ability to dispel and resist magic, in addition to their formidable combat talents, the Templars are uniquely, uniquely qualified to act as both a foil for apostates, mages who refuse to submit to the authority of the Circle, and a first line of defense against the dark powers of blood mages and abominations. While mages often resent the Templars as symbols of the Chantry's control over magic, the people of Thedas see them as saviors and holy warriors, champions of all that is good, armed with piety enough to protect the world from the ravages of foul magic. In reality, the Chantry's militant arm looks first for skilled warriors with unshakable faith in the Maker, with a flawless moral centre as a secondary concern. Templars must carry out their duty with an emotional distance, and the Order of Templars prefers soldiers with a religious fervour and absolute loyalty over paragons of virtue who might question orders when it comes time to make difficult choices. The Templars' power derives from the substance Lyrium, a mineral believed to be the raw element of creation. While mages use Lyrium in their arcane spells and rituals, Templars ingest the primordial mineral to enhance their abilities to resist and dispel magic. Lyrium use is regulated by the Chantry, but some Templars suffer from Lyrium addiction, the effects of which include paranoia, obsession, and dementia. Templars knowingly submit themselves to this treatment in the service of the Order and the Maker. Did, um, did Alistair say that he no longer takes it, or is he still taking it? Because he's not... Like, he was a Templar, so he was taking it, but now that he's a Grey Warden and has left the Templar Order, is he is he not taking it anymore? I guess probably not, which is good. Um, it is it is this sense of ruthless piety that most frightens mages when they draw the Templar's attention. When the Templars are sent to eliminate a possible blood mage, there is no reasoning with them, and if the Templars are prepared, the mage's magic is all but useless. Driven by their faith, the Templars are one of the most feared and respected forces in Thedas. From Patterns Within Form... Hey. It's strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? Uh, who are you? I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this Chantry. <laughs> and pride again. <laughs> it is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. What's a curator do? The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. Uh, there are still relics to be found after all these years? My thought exactly. 
but I'm perpetually amazed at how quickly people accept fantastic claims at face value. A hawker on the street will claim to have an actual finger bone of Andraste. In this city alone, you could make the skeleton of ten prophets from <laughs> fingers alone. <laughs> Curators often accept them as genuine. I worry about the authenticity of even our most holy artifacts. Uh, how difficult it is, is it to verify a relic? When I was a curator of a much smaller chantry in Orlay, I thought that false relics slipped through because of laziness. But the life of the cloth is never an easy one, and that explanation always seemed hollow to me. Now I believe it's the seduction of the divine. We all want a personal connection to the maker. We want to believe that what we hold in our hands is the actual sandal that slipped from Andraste's foot before the fires consumed her. Faith is of the heart, not of the head. When the heart is ungoverned by reason, charlatans have powerful tools to deceive. Balancing faith and reason is difficult though. And often close to heretical. But I believe that the truth only increases the awe of the maker and his prophet, not demean it. Even false symbols have the power to inspire. But it seems every year we fall more out of touch with the real Andraste. How many real relics have you found? Well, there's one that might be real. I couldn't prove it wasn't. Perhaps you can understand my scepticism. So many claims, so few truths. Do you think the urn of sacred ashes is real? Certainly. My research indicates that all of the ashes were gathered into a pot or urn, but it's been lost for centuries. That doesn't stop hawkers from selling pinches of the ashes of Andraste to gullible pilgrims. The real ashes may still be hidden somewhere, though it's possible the urn broke. Could you tell me about your job? You've shown admirable patience listening to my diatribe before. I will not bore you again. Suffice it to say, I look for and authenticate holy relics for the Chantry. All right. Bye. Of course. Enjoy your visit to the Chantry. Adios, amigo. Anything back here at all? Nada. Nah. -uh. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. It's pretty, pretty big place. Pretty big city. Knight Commander Tavish. Turn your attention elsewhere. My business does not concern you. Okay. Thank you and farewell. I think I just cut off Liliana, which is a bummer. I didn't mean to. She started talking right as I pressed the button. Engraved silver bowl just for selling? Yeah. Liliana, would you like to chat again? Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. Direct from Orzammar. You won't find better. Gorim. Welcome. Welcome. We sell only the strongest dwarven steel, folded over a hundred times in the forges of Orzammar. In times like this, surely your group could use some extra protection on the road. Uh, I'd rather buy info if you've got any to sell. I'll answer what I can, but my policy is not to sell things that don't belong to me. Uh, who are some important people in Denerim? It's the capital of Ferelden, so naturally the queen and regent are at the top. But the man who seems to be running the city guard is the new Arl Rendon Howe. Came in from somewhere up north. Seems like a fucking nonce. What's happening in the city? The lands meet's the big news. Every dusty noble estate in Denerim is airing its sheets, waiting for the lord to ride into town. Uh, let's see what's in your store. Every piece comes with a stamp of assurance from my wife's father, the best smith in Denerim. Aight, aight. Um, nothing too exciting looking there. Cool, that's some expensive shit. We've got 39 gold though now. We we're actually doing pretty well considering how uh, light we were on gold earlier on. Um, Dwarven heavy armor. How's that compared to what Alistair's got? It's only a little bit more armor. Not really worth, I don't think. Although, what's the Dwarven set bonus? Bonus to armor if you have the full set, which is already, like, good fucking armor, so...
That's actually worse armor. That's surprising. The dwarven armored gloves are not as armored as the heavy chainmail gloves, but they also have quite a lot less fatigue. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to get this set for him. The dwarven... Oh wait, no. Dwarven armored is not the same as dwarven heavy. Oh, here we go. Wait, Dwarven Heavy gets a bonus to armor. Dwarven Armored also gives a bonus to armor. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. The Dwarven Heavy is the one that costs a lot more, though. Why does it cost so much more? Armor 210 compared to armor 1.35. I guess that's why. Oh, Alistair doesn't even have the strength for it. But he will soon, right? I'm pretty sure he's got quite high strength. Hmm. I mean, he's doing fine at the moment. We'll come back and... Oh, Welcome I didn't check the other stuff, actually. Is there something else you'd like? Every... Uh, we might come back later. None of that. None of that. None of that. Manual Berserker? Huh. I guess this is how you get that... Uh, specialization. Is you just buy it here? But I ain't spending, spending 11 gold on it. Because maybe someone will give it to me for free at some point. I don't know, uh, I don't know if all specializations can be learned for free, or if some of them you have to buy, but... Oh, hey, Leliana, let's do a little bit of cheeky thievery! Sorry. Fuck. Mm, no, I don't think so. What? what now? Cheeky thievery! Uh, Fade the Apprentice. What is it? I have work to do. I have a note here from your master. Do I? And what, what, what note is that? What does it say? Ah, uh, I knew this would happen. Just when I was starting to get good. Well, thanks, I guess. Quest updated. What was it? Notice of termination. Find the remaining... Oh, it's that one. Right, yeah. Two can be found in Denerim. The other is procuring a slightly rarer item from Orzammar. Okay. Uh, hello, Lizelle. Good day. The market is busy, is it not? Come, rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For a lady friend, perhaps? Roses can open any woman's heart, you know. Uh... I don't know if roses would be the way to Morrigan's heart. Uh, where are you from? I assume... Orlesian Empire place? I am from Orlais. Orlais, that's the word I was You've looking for. You've heard of us, no? Your Denerim is a fine city, but I miss my Varroyo. She's quite beautiful this time of year. Why did you leave? Orle has many, many good things, but it is sometimes not so good to be... common. My brother had trouble with a chevalier and we departed shortly after. What's one of them when they're at home? You know so little of Orle here. The chevaliers are knights of the highest order. Ah. They are the most skilled in the world. Their discipline, formidable. For their service, they're allowed privileges. They can do whatever they want to the lesser born. Wow, that is uh, quite the fucking shit system. What do people put up with them? Or why do people put up with them? Because there is little choice. There are so many wonderful things about Orlais, but Ferelden has something precious. Ear, a man, or a woman, is born free and lives free. I do not understand it, but the nobles here are not so high, and none of us are quite so low. As much as I miss my Varroyo, I love where I am. Yeah, doesn't sound like that's a nice place particularly, Ole. I mean, I'm sure it's pretty, but it doesn't sound like as a place to live there, if you're not one of the nobles, then it sounds pretty shit. What sort of trouble did you get in? A chevalier took an interest in me. It was his right, but... It was unwelcome. Incensed. My brother hit him over the head with a pot. <laughs> Such a thing is almost treason. Good we left that very night and came here. Uh, those beasts are allowed to rape women? That and more. Some reveal them for their skill and their high service. But others tread lightly. 
as lightly as the mouse in the cat's den. If you will excuse me, I... I feel a touch lightheaded. Sorry. <laughs> uh... It is a pleasure to see you again. Have my flowers enticed you? Or perhaps you tire of the smells of the city and would buy my Orlesian oils? She had other things to say, right? Uh, what's there to see in the market? Much of the city is still a mystery to me, but the markets is like my home. Circle and sorcelled objects can be found in the wonders of Thedas in the alleyway north. The armorer, Wade, and his emporium are just to the south. If you need work, outside the rectory to the southeast is a chanter's board. And if your thirst is strong, head to the Nord Noble Tavern north of here. Be prepared, though. They do put on many airs. All right. There was still more, though, right? It is a pleasure. Or perhaps you tire of the uh, smells of the city. And smelling good is not. Ferelden is no longer full of barbarians. People judge with their noses as well as their ears and eyes. But you look more... armed than most of my patrons. Perhaps you seek the armor smith, Wade, then to the south? He is quite the artiste, yes? All right. Do do do. Okay. Habron. It's so nice to be in civilization. You can't buy Orlesian silks anywhere in Southreach. Why are you yellow? Be careful with that package, you lazy slut. It's <laughs> worth more than you'll make in ten years. Be careful with that package, you lazy slut. It's worth more than you'll make in ten years. Yikes! New Codex, the Noladar Anthology of Dwarven po Poetry. The undead exhumed, born from the shallowest graves, mined from the living. Do you like fried mush and nug? I do not like them, Mr. Clug. I do not like fried mush and nug. Would you eat them on a rug? <laughs> this is a fucking, like, uh, cat in the hat thing. <laughs> if you eat, you'll get a hug. I would not eat them on a rug. From you, I would not want a hug. Then would you drink them from a jug? Come on, come on, give them a chug. I would not drink them from a jug. I'd rather eat a slimy slug. Would you eat them with a bug? Would you share them with a thug? I would not share them with a thug. I would not eat them with a bug. Not for a hug, not on a rug, from a jug, I will not chug. Come on, come on now, Mr. Clug. Are you on some kind of drug? Eat them in this hole I dug. Eat them, eat them, don't just shrug. I've had it, had it, Mr. Clug. Down, into that hole you dug. Down with the thug, and the slug, and the bug. Never surrender. Dwarvish blood may be lukewarm, but vital as ore. There was once a miner of Lyrium, whose face looked like a perineum. The dead got him too, not much he could do, with a face like that he was a shoe in that was terrible that is terrible that is that is uh what's the word for that limerick is that a limerick but it's uh it's a bad limerick sup if you have coin welcome to our shop if not move along too many refugees blocking customers uh i'm not a refugee i didn't think so sir too much flesh on the bones <laughs> you say not fat tall, proud not hunched. Sad times in Ferelden. Anything special about Denerim? Better trade cities to the north, but plenty good trade here. Now with war and blight, business is bad. What have you got? Oh, yes. Uh, Orlesian bow. How does that compare to Leliana's? Uh, worse. To Vinter Shield. Worse. Alright, we've got some pretty good shit now, it seems like. That's good. That's good. Poison recipe. What's the difference between, like... They're all poison recipes, but it's like, do you have to specifically use this poison against mages, this poison against regular soldiers, this poison against demons and shit? Like, I'd kind of like to have them just to have them, but I know I'll probably never fucking use them, because I'm not much of a one for crafting, so... 
I guess not. Master Ignacio. Another visitor, the maestro. Enjoy browsing my wares. Who are you? Master Trader Ignacio, at your service, good sir. My cousin and I have trade connections all along the seaways. We have furniture, silks, carvings, and much more. Cesar handles the trade stock, I handle other affairs. And what affairs are those? Business deals, uh, meetings. Cesar makes it so I am free of the day-to-day -day concerns of our store. You aren't from Ferelden, are you? No, I am not. I am a trader at heart. My home is the road. But I was born past the waking sea in Antiva. It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road is a better mistress than my home city ever was. What do you mean? On the docks of Rialto, life is cheap. As cheap as the dockside ale and the soiled whores. You can live a longer life out here. And a wise man can make a comfortable fortune in time. Uh, I mean, with the blight, Ferelden isn't exactly safe either. Straightforward, predictable danger is refreshing to me. Any moment in Rialto, the streets can run red and often do. I'd take Darkspawn any day. At least you can see them coming. Need any help? Um, no. Not yet. Perhaps one day. What stories do you have of Antiva? It has been many, many years since I have seen her. But the road is a better mistress yeah, than my home this, city mate. ever was. Luck be to you, <laughs> Warden. What great story you have there, man. Did you have anything You've else? You've returned, Warden. Uh... Wait, I never said I was a Warden. I heard it in passing. <laughs> it is said there are few secrets in the market. Hmm. Cunning, you're hiding something. Aren't we all? I mean you no harm. That should be enough. I'm afraid my appetite for conversation has waned. Hmm. I meant no offense. We can talk more later. Okay, I need to remember to come back to him. There's definitely something sassy going on there. So, yeah, question. Why, like, why is this guy's name orange, this guy's name is white, and this woman's name is yellow. Like, she Don't doesn't have anything to say. Nicho. I can have my father send you south to fight Darkspawn, you know. Like, does yellow just mean they get a text box? But then other people get a text box that aren't yellow, I'm pretty sure. And then this guy's white and has stuff to say, and this guy's orange and has stuff to say. I don't know. I don't know what determines the colors. Hello. There. What? What's next? Uh, right. Wade's Emporium. Was this the Armorsmith, did they say? Heron. Welcome, friends. Welcome to Wade's Emporium. We have the finest armors in Denerim, maybe in all of Ferelden. How may we assist you? Uh, I'd like a chicken pie, please. Armor, obviously. Oh, can Wade make something with these drake scales? No, uh, no, he can't. Did I hear right? You, you, uh, a man, you, you have drake scales? Uh, can you make drake scale armor? Of course I can. I, I think I can. Won't know until I try, will I? Let me see. Look at this, Heron. It's real. Some never see a single scale in their lives. Sadly, you don't have enough to make armor. But if you find more, and you must, come straight here. Oh, the things I could make with it. Really, take your time, friend. No need to come back with any of those at all. Why is he so against m the dude making me armor? Tell me about Wade. You're obviously not from around here. Wade is possibly the most brilliant armorsmith in all of Ferelden. That's not true, Heren. The dwarves of Orzammar make the finest armors around. These piles of rust droppings you force me to make are worthless compared to their work. You never let me have the time, the materials to make something special. Customers expect their armor in a timely fashion, not years late like the last time. That happened once, just once, and you never let it drop. Uh, who's in charge here? I am. 
Wade owns the Emporium, but without expert assistance and, well, prodding, let's just say the Emporium has improved substantially with our partnership. But I do miss the good old days. I could really take my time to make quality. Oh, by all means, you can return to them. And to the gruel you used to fancy. No, no. Sorry, Herin. Uh, do they have anything else to say about the Drake Scales? Of course. You need more scales, blast it. Find more or kill more Drakes. You're not seriously suggesting they should kill a Drake. They're almost unstoppable. Well, I need more bloody scales. They found some already. I just want them to find more. <laughs> Sorry. I wonder how many I need. Can you tell me about the city? The city is full to bursting. With people from the country coming, trade is thriving. Especially those that deal in weapons and armor. Master Wade is especially in demand. All right, what have you got? Certainly. Uh, honestly, nothing that looks particularly great. Like, <laughs> that's barely any better. For 10 gold, are you insane? Are you out of your mind? Nothing else, basically. Quest updated. Uh, Drake scale armor. If you give him enough. It doesn't say how many you need, though. Fuck's sake. I feel like it should tell you how many you're looking for. I finished. Codex updated? Oh, right, this one. Uh, we've read those, we've read those. To one's paramour, when, when last we embraced, one noticed the redolence of another's company, but one was unmindful. What does that mean? He didn't mind that they'd been with someone else? All right, fucking cuck fetish moment. Hello, Mr. Wade. If I could talk to you, that'd be fantastic. There we go. You simply oh, no. must let me make you that scale armor, friend. You must. Mm, he's yellow and he gets a text box, so maybe I guess that's what that indicates. So, this thing you and him have going, doesn't that violate your vows? What? What kind of question is that to just blurt out? What do we have going? Yes, I'm that blind. I so totally did not see you ogling each other before. He was not ogling me, was he? Was he really ogling me? Now that you say it, I'm not sure. Maybe he wasn't ogling you. I don't know. I could always ask him. You can't do that. Could you? You couldn't do that. I could, but I won't. Next thing you'll have me pulling his hair and passing him love letters. I... just mind your own business. How inappropriate. Hmm. I mean, I'm with... okay. Maybe I was I was very praising of it when they were talking about me and Morrigan, but maybe they actually just have dialogue for me being with all possible romance interests. And they just assume that because I'm raising my affiliation thingy with all of them that... I don't know. Because, like, I'm not with Liliana. I like her. I'd be with her if I wasn't with Morrigan. Uh, Sergeant Kylon. You hear this guy's yellow and doesn't get a text box. This guy gets a full thing. Off the entire district. Oh, uh, can I help you, Warden? Is the market district really that bad? The lower market isn't deemed important by the captain of the guard, even less with Al Howe in charge. So when I finally get the new men I request, I get the delightful surprise of discovering their lord such and such as illegitimate, untrained, moronic whelps. But lords keep sending me more of them. It's decent pay, no expectations, a uniform. So I have a legion of bastards to protect the market from pickpockets, stabbings, and whatnot. And all how specially picked men are the worst of the lot. How are they worse? With the bastards, I just have to worry about dicing the odd bit of drool or yelling at them too loudly and hurting their poor feelings and then getting chewed out by their noble fathers. <laughs> but I swear, the Arl's men are more criminal than the miscreants we occasionally arrest. Some of them are the criminals we have to arrest. So if your lifeblood isn't draining in the gutters as we speak, don't bother reporting it. Yeesh. Do you need any help? <laughs> what? You're serious? I mean, yes, yes, I could use help. I've got a pretty popular... Uh, establishment that's crawling with mercenaries. If I send my boys in, someone might get 
make a forbid hurt, and I'll have to explain to their noble fathers that being a guard is actually dangerous. What do you need me to do? The name of the whorehouse is the Pearl. Beat down any mercenaries that are out of line and send them a message. I said beat down, not kill. Let me make that really clear. Not on fire, or exploded, or make a nose, whatever type of grisly death you can dream up. Sorry. Used to giving orders to my boys. Just leave them breathing and I'll be happy. Sign me up. Thank you, Warden. Happy hunting. Pearls before swine. <laughs> Go to the Pearl. Remember, oh, there are a bunch of other talk options, just but I can't do them now. Boo. I've my eye on you. Okay, that's the main quest over there, so we will go there last. Leave me to my business. Alright. Anything else around? Can't go in there. Major's collective bag. Oh, it's one of these guys. Oh boy, even more side quests. Fucking hell. There's so many. Blood of warning. While they tend to be careful and judicious in their use of force, the Templars do indeed make mistakes. I understand that several relatives of our friends among the collective will soon become targets of the Chantry. And while I trust that this will not lead to lasting harm for those innocents, I wish to ensure that those targeted are fairly warned and evacuated before the Chantry can send its message. I ask that a noble soul take the bundle of vials attached to this missive and find the four homes the Chantry is likely to target in Denerim. Mark the front door of each home with the goat's blood from the vials. Those relatives will understand the message and can evacuate before the Chantry can threaten them. A gift of silence. This collective is only successful at the pleasure of the Templars. Their continued devotion to our safety requires certain concessions on our part. In the interest of renewing our relationship with these fine and generous agents of the Maker, we ask that a willing man or woman of character grace of character, grace our good friends with the gift of Lyrium. Procure ten Lyrium potions, fucking hell, and offer them up to Knight Commander Harith in Redcliffe. That's a lot. Have you seen me? The Collective is saddened at the absence of our great mage Reynold. Our friend has not been seen in quite some time, and our gatherings are the lesser for the loss of his tales of ribald exploits and the aroma of his delicious twice-baked meat pies. Reynold was last seen travelling in the direction of the Brazilian forest. Oh, how he did so love the outdoors. Anyone who returns with evidence of the whereabouts of the beloved mage Reynold will be rewarded. The Scrolls of Bannistor In times such as these, one must suspect even his neighbour of the darkest dealings, lest they cast a shadow under those who labour under the light. I, Javasto, have heard tell of a cabal of Maleficarum performing rituals in the dark near my sanctum, and I certainly wish to see them brought to justice for their dark deeds. I hesitate, however, to accuse them of foul sorcery without a full understanding of the trappings, ritual, and appearance the dark magic requires. The writings of the hated Maleficarum Banistor should be suitable. Should a courier be available, available to procure me copies of the scrolls of Banistor, I would be appropriately grateful. Alright. The client is very pleased. Come back soon. I'm sure glad to hear that. I don't know what that was that I handed in, but I'm glad they're grateful. And I'm glad you've given me fat stacks of cash for it. Good to see you again. I'd say likewise, but like, not really. <laughs> I don't even really know who that is. Uh, right, so this is where we started. From the lowest slaves to the highest kings. Those who bring Wait, what's in here? Door of a blood mage's relative. Ah! We can just run around and hit all of those up then. Oh, we can't run through that. You didn't want to talk. There wasn't anything around here, was there? Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven I recognize you from Ostagar and trust his blood. You're a Grey Warden, Duncan's apprentice. Hi. You killed my friend and got oh. King Kalen. I demand satisfaction, sir. Uh, I demand you fuck off. Uh, Loghain's charges against the Wardens are false. 
Hmm. So you would compound slander on top of treason? You dare smear Terran Logain's word? Uh, use your wits. The Warden would never help the Darkspawn. The savior of Ferelden, Terran Logain, personally told me of the Warden's betrayal. Your betrayal. An uncommon traitor deserves no common death. We will meet on the field of honor, and my blade shall see justice done. Meet me in the back alley behind the Nord Noble Tavern. There we will duel. Uh, I won't fight a misled fool. But honor demands you accept. Fuck your honor. Your honor, not mine. Farewell. You turn your back on me? This is not over, Warden. Cry about it? Uh, right, that's the actual main quest one. Oh, I haven't been back here. Wonders of Thedas shop. Warehouse. Mysterious door. Mysterious door. The door opens a crack in response to your knock. There is a light breeze, like a change in pressure. Ah! The small painted box. I'm looking for Red Jenny. You had business in the circle time. I'm looking for Red Jenny. The door closes curtly. Oh. Uh, you had business in the circle tower? Nope. <laughs> okay, try again. Present the box. A large shadow nods. A pouch of coins appears in exchange. The door closes. Three gold. Sure. Uh, so that's just completed then, I guess. Was it the Mage's Collective? No. Which one was that? Fuck knows. Which one was it? I don't know. God damn it. Ah, this one. You delivered the small painted box to the friends of Red Jenny, whoever they are. Okay, <laughs> I was wondering if it would have any more info. But apparently not. Wonders of Thedas. New Codex Denerim. When anyone in Ferelden speaks of going to the city, they inevitably mean Denerim. There's no other place in the kingdom which rivals it, not in size, population, wealth, or importance. It is the seat of the Therin family, the capital of Ferelden, the largest seaport, and, by ancient tradition, the meeting place of the Landsmeet. As well, Denerim was the birthplace of Andraste. One of them, anyway, as several other sites claim to have been the Prophet's early home, including Jada in Orlais. The, chant the Chantry takes no stance on which site's claim is valid, but it is well known that Andraste was Ferelden by birth. When visiting the pilgrimage site in Denerim, it is inadvisable to mention Jada at all. The city rests at the foot of the Dragon's Peak, a solitary mountain scarred by ancient lava flows. During Andraste's lifetime, it reputedly filled the sky with a great column of black ash and sent burning rock raining down as far away as the Free Marches, but it is now considered extinct. Some believe it merely sleeps, and will again darken the sky with ash and fire when the last Ferelden king dies. But this is highly unlikely. Sheth the Apprentice. Yes, make it quick. I have a note from your master. Strange. Let's see this. You've I been knew it. Over. I gave that man the best seven weeks of my life. Well, huh? I guess he won't have me to push around anymore. <laughs> nice. Anything up the back here? We've got a scroll, cheeky scroll. The Kunari. Anyone who travels far enough to the north will eventually encounter the Kunari. White-haired, bronze-skinned giants, a head, a head again taller than a man, with frighteningly calm demeanours and a sort of sparkling fire behind their eyes. Right, Sten? For a long time, people believed that all Kunari were male, or that their men and women were simply indistinguishable. It was not until the Blessed Age that diplomats from Ravain were allowed, however briefly, to visit Par Valen, and there, they discovered that Kunari females do exist in abundance, and are quite easily recognised. Uh, the, Riv the Rivaini say that Kunari have a certain kindness to them, or at least a conspicuous lack of cruelty, although I did not observe the creatures closely enough to evaluate their character. They also don't like to fucking tell you anything ever. The History of the Chantry Chapter 4? I don't think we had Chapter 3, did we? No, we're going straight from 2 to 4, huh? 
the crowd... Oh, right. <laughs> so this was Andras stays alive, and then chapter 3 is about her being killed then, and then this is now chapter 4 after she's dead. The crowds present at the death of and Andraste were right to feel despair. It is believed that the Prophet's execution angered the Maker, and he turned his back on humanity once more, leaving the people of Thedas to suffer in the dark. In these dark times, mankind scrambled for a light, any light. Some found comfort in demonic cults that promised power and riches in return for worship. Others prayed to the old gods for forgiveness, begging the great dragons to return to the world. Still others fell so low as to worship the Darkspawn, forming vile cults dedicated to the exaltation of evil in its purest form. It is said that the world wept as its people begged for a saviour who would not come. Andraste's followers, however, did not abandon her teachings when she died. The cult of Andraste rescued her sacred ashes from the courtyard in Minrathus after her execution, stealing them away to a secret temple. The location of that temple has long been lost, but the ashes of Andraste serve as a symbol of the enduring nature of the faith in the Maker that humanity could earn the Maker's forgiveness despite its grievous insult to him. With time, the cult of Andraste spread and grew, and the chant of light took form. Sing this chant in the four corners of Thedas, it was said, and the world would gain the Maker's attention at last. As the chant of light spread, the cult of Andraste became, no became known as the Andrastean Chantry. Those who converted to the Chantry's beliefs found it their mission to spread Andraste's word. There were many converts, including powerful people in the Imperium and in the city-states of what is now Olay. Such was the power of the Maker's word that the young king Dracon undertook a series of exalted marches meant to unite the city-states and create an empire solely dedicated to the Maker's will. The Olesian Empire became the seat of the Chantry's power, the Grand Cathedral in Valroyo the source of the movement that birthed the organised Chantry as we know it today. Dracon, by then Emperor Dracon I, created the Circle of Magi, the Order of Templars, and the Holy Office of the Divine. Many within the Chantry revere him nearly as equal with Andraste herself. The modern Chantry is a thing of faith and beauty, but it is also a house of necessity, protecting Thedas from powerful forces that would do it harm. Where the Grey Wardens protect the world from the Blights, the Chantry protects mankind from itself. Most of all, the Chantry works to earn the Maker's forgiveness, so that one day he will return and transform the world into the paradise it was always meant to be. From Brother Genitivi, who we are going to speak to, right? Geography of Thedas. Thedas is bounded to the east by the Amaranthine Ocean, to the west by Tirashan Forest and the Hunterhorn Mountains, to the south by the snowy wastes that lie beyond the Orkney Mountains, and to the north by Donark Forest. The word Thedas is Tavinta in origin, originally used to refer to lands that bordered the Imperium. Except that, <laughs> in reality, apparently, apparently this is true, that Thedas is THE Dragon Age series. <laughs> Thay the DAS Dragon Age series, apparently. Apparently that is an actual true thing, that they were trying to come up with the name of the place, and they went, the Dragon Age series, the... D-A-S, Thedas, and that was that was it. That's, that's like, that's such a funny anecdote, but apparently that is true. Um, as the Imperium lost its stranglehold on conquered nations, more and more lands became Thedas, until finally people applied the name to the entire continent. The northern part of Thedas is divided among the Andafels, the Tevinta Imperium, Antiva, and Ravain, with the islands held by the Kunari just off the coast. Central Thedas consists of the Free Marches, Navarra, and Orlais, with Ferelden to the south. What lies beyond the snowy wastes is a mystery, the freezing temperatures and barren land have kept even the most intrepid cartographers at bay. Similarly, the western reaches of, Andefels, of the Andefels have never been fully explored, even by the Anders themselves. We do not know if the dry steppes are shadowed by mountains, or if they extend all the way to a nameless sea. There must be other lands, continents, or islands, perhaps across the Amaranthine or north of Parvalen. For the Kunari arrived in Thedas from somewhere, but beyond that deduction, we know nothing. Cool. And lastly, the Proprietor. Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the Circle, as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? Browse his wares. Ooh, hello, 31 gold and I can afford it? Oh shit. Oh shit. Requires 36 magic, which I fucking have. Oh shit. 4.8 damage. It's almost a full point higher. 40 armor penetration, huge. Range is better, spell power is better. 25% cold resistance, plus 3 spell power, 10% cold damage, radiates cold. Oh my god, covered in runes of glittering lyrium, this almost looks like it is full of fireflies. It makes a soft whistling sound, like the wind through bare trees. 
Oh my god, that's so good. Should I get it? That's so good. <laughs> and I can get it. Lend of the Lion. 10% nature damage. Hmm. Twitch. Love me some Twitch. And a fucking 78 gold ring. Oh my god. 20% resist to fucking everything. The shopkeeper claims this artifact may be among the oldest magic items in all of Thedas. From an era before even the elves mastered the magical arts. Quite likely that that is mere salesmanship, but the ring is certainly powerful and feels truly ancient. That's crazy. Restriction me? Increased experience from Codex? What? Huh. That's interesting. So every time I pick up a Codex piece, I get more experience? I wonder how much more. I mean, you can only have one of these equipped, and I quite like having more healing ref healing effects received, but then I shouldn't really be taking that much damage anyway. Uh, maybe I should get this, honestly. Yeah. Let's grab that. 10% cold resist. That's that, which I've already got. Tome of Arcane Technique. A tome researched by the Imperial Chantry, a Tevinter offshoot of the Andrastian religion that no longer persecutes magic users. The book grants insight into the Fade, increasing the reader's knowledge of spells. It gives one point to spend on a talent or spell, but it's rendered useless afterwards. It is too much money. <laughs> it is too much money for that. Unfortunately. Grand Master Flame Rune. Oh my god, this place is crazy. This place is fucking big. Ancient map of the Imperium. Hmm. Wonder who would want that. Master Cold. Eight damage versus undead specifically. Chance of paralysis. That could be huge. I guess an even better chance of paralysis. Oh my goodness. This guy has some cool ass shit. I am going to think on this. I'm going to think about this and decide whether I want to spell... Spell? Spend most of my money. It's not actually, it's not even most of my money. It's not even most of my money. I still have a lot of cash. Actually, thinking of it like that, fuck it. It's bought. It's done. Boom. Winter's breath. We are now an absolute fucking lad. And I will also give myself the Archivist Sash. Really sucks that I fucking read four books in this store before finding that. Because that would have been real nice to uh, get XP boosts from that. But whatever. Uh, cool. Sick. Well, we are just absolutely fucking balling out of control with that stuff. And uh, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching. See you then.